Is your data really safe on your iPhone? Well, you might think it is, but it's actually very easy to take off of your iPhone for people that are just trying to get your data, especially if you're on someone else's Wi-Fi or your stuff is not secure. There's pretty much always a way unless you have something like a VPN. You've probably heard of VPNs before. Basically, it stands for a virtual private network. We won't go into it in too much detail, but to give you an idea, basically what it does is it puts a barrier around your data. So people cannot get to it because it blocks it. So this keeps you safe, keeps your privacy private and your security on maximum. In this video, I'm gonna show you the VPN that I recommend, which is Pure VPN. I'm gonna go through, show you how to purchase it, how to set it up on your iPhone, and even how to set it up on your desktop. Pure VPN is a premium VPN, so keep in mind that there is a service fee with this. I'm also an affiliate. If you'd like to get the best deal you can and help me out, you can use the links down below. With that said, welcome to helpfultutorials.net where you'll get all your great iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials. And in this one, we're going over the secure review. I do have an article here I will link below if you are interested. If you're new to Helpful Tutorials, please subscribe if you find this valuable. And also, while you're on helpfultutorials.net checking out this review, you can also click the free iPhone guide. You can click on it, and this is a guide that I put together and have a quick picture of how to fix a bunch of issues at once. You can download the image and then share it with everyone. And if you have any problems, you can look at what your issue is and get it resolved. It's absolutely free. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right in. First, we need to go ahead and get the service. All I'll do is down below there's a link or I can click on a link here on my site and it'll get me over to Pure VPN. This is gonna go ahead and give you the best discount and don't forget they do have a 31 day money back guarantee. So you could always give it a try and see what it's like and if not, there you go. You have 31 days to let them know and contact them and get your money back. Just to give you a little more information about them, they do go ahead and keep all of this stuff good. You're allowed multiple of these as well. You're allowed to connect up to 10 devices, not five like most, but 10. So one account should be able to secure a whole household. They're also very high rated on Trustpilot and they have all these different apps. We're gonna go through and do the Windows and the iPhone today. Keep in mind the iPhone and the iPad are very similar, so if you follow the iPhone, it will get you set up for the iPad. The general prices are here. There are different discounts at different times. Clicking my link will give you the best di discount there is. They also do have some add-ons available here and they have multiple ways to go through and purchase. So since I already have an account and this is for demo purposes, we're just gonna go ahead and sign up for a one month account, which is 1095 a month. I'm gonna go through and select credit card and put my information in here. Make sure you put an email address and a password to create an account. They also do have some other things below if you're interested, port forwarding, dedicated IP, DDoS protection, and dedicated IP with port forwarding. If you're new to VPNs, I wouldn't worry about any of this at this point. If you notice you need it later on, you can always purchase it through the in-app store. So I'll do that and then I'll go ahead and submit. Now when you come back, we'll start with the desktop since we're already on here. It's gonna say, what are you going to be using this for? There are different things, streaming, security, downloading, bypassing restrictions, gaming, streaming sports, and other purposes. So I'll go through these real quick just to give you an idea. You know, streaming is if you're gonna be using the connection for say Netflix or for Hulu. Security is just if you wanna stay strong and not have people look at your stuff. Downloading is for files. Keep in mind you can't do torrenting in the US. If you wanted to do that, you'd have to choose a server outside of the US. Bypass restrictions, say Netflix doesn't work where you're at, you can use that. Gaming, if you're playing games and you wanna get closer to the server, you could try using that. And streaming sports is similar to streaming, just going through and doing sports. I'm gonna be mainly using mine for security, so I'm gonna choose security, and it's gonna say here what to download. We're gonna start with the Windows, because that's what we want. They have a bunch of other apps, and you can also set up your routers and other devices manually. 
For this video, we're just gonna do Windows and the iPhone because this is kind of for people that just want extra security and don't wanna get all geeked out on it, but wanna be more protected. So we're gonna choose Windows and we'll choose Download. We'll go ahead and click it down here. It's gonna come up and ask if it's okay to run. We're gonna say yes. Here we are and it's asking to go through and install. We'll choose, we've read the agreement. Of course you wanna go through and read it like everyone does. Then go ahead and hit next. It's gonna ask where you wanna install it. That's fine for me, I'm gonna go ahead and choose install. It's gonna go through and install now. We're gonna to have to go ahead and choose allow access for Windows Defender. Now we'll choose login. And here you're gonna set your email address and your password. I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. So let's go ahead and look over everything to give you an idea of how everything works. We'll start at the bottom, which is our settings. We can change the settings here, launch Pure VPN on startup, auto connect as well. You could turn those on if you're interested. You can also put where to connect, recently connected, so we'll just reconnect. You have a kill switch here, which basically means if your VPN connection goes down, the internet goes down as well. This is to make sure that you don't go off and you're unsecure. So this is available on the Windows application. You also get show notifications. You can leave those on so you know what's going on when those happen. You could show your ping value, auto update the app, you can check for updates. You got protocols, it's gonna automatically be iKev2. You can leave that on. If you want something like WireGuard, for example, you can flip this, choose proceed, and then go ahead and choose WireGuard. It will automatically give you the best protocol that is set up with it, so you are aware of that. So if you are new to this and you just wanna stick with what it comes with, I would just leave this alone. Split tunneling, you can go ahead and have different types of VPN connections for different apps. This is more for advanced users. Notification area, if you have any notifications, they'll pop in. You have your account. On your account screen, you can see your email, your VPN name, your subscription service, and also here you can get those add-ons I mentioned, like dedicated IP add-on, port forwarding, or pure keep. Moving up more, we have Discover More. These are all the apps that are included with your plan, and you have Pure VPN. Pure Keep is a password manager. You can get that if you're interested as well. We can go to the present. This is if you want to refer somebody. Questions, which is really nice. This is your FAQ section, so you'll be able to get all the questions that you have. There is a support ticket here, which will go right to email, and then you have live chat here where you can go ahead and chat 24-7. It's really nice that it's built into this app so it's you don't have to go around somewhere else to touch base. And of course the second one is going to be more of your connection showing what's available. Let's start on the main screen though. We'll just hit connect here and see what happens by default. We're connecting in the US and it's showing the speeds. We're connected to Atlanta. So you can change the server and get closer. I'm in Pennsylvania personally. Atlanta's not too bad. It does seem like it's a decent server for this. So they pick pretty well. So connection details, you click this and see what's going on and what everything is set up and just know what's going on. If we go in here, we can get an idea of what we wanna connect. Personally, I'm gonna always be connecting to the US because if you're going further out, you could notice a little bit of speed decay as you see, you know, US is really fast for me, but then when you go to United Kingdom, of course, because it's far away, it's gonna be a lot slower. So I wanna keep with US and stay in here. There are a lot of servers. If I click here, it'll give me a better idea of which ones are available. Uh, New Jersey's pretty close to me, so is New York. But what I'm looking at is the MS, and the 10 MS is a lot better. So. I kind of want to stick with the New York one because it's so fast. So we'll choose recommended, we'll choose New York, and boom, we're connected to New York. This is gonna be the better speeds. Now keep in mind, VPNs do decrease your speed. However, pure VPN is a very subtle decrease, maybe 10%, which is not bad at all compared to the others. And then we'll give it a plus there because it is working. They want to know that it's working for us, which is great. We are set up. So now we have the desktop set up. So to disconnect, I would just click this again and you'll see it'll disconnect on here. We are all set up for Windows. Now it's time to do the iPhone. Here we are at our iPhone home screen. And if you like the background, it's because I have 
the weather automatically synced to my home screen and my desktop. I did that in my last video. I'll put it up top if you're interested. And it's a little rainy outside today. So now that we are ready to get this VPN set up on here, let's go ahead and hit the App Store. We're going to go ahead and choose Search. We're going to search for Pure VPN. And remember, the first one's always sponsored. It even says Add, so it's the second one. It's the purple one. We'll go ahead and hit Get. And it's all set. So now we'll just go ahead and hit Open. We'll say Allow Notifications. Accept and Agree for me. Make sure you read over that. You're going to need the account that we had. Remember, this is not a free VPN. I don't trust free VPNs, so I would suggest not going with those. You can flip through here and get an idea of how it works, but you probably already have a good idea. So let's go ahead and choose Login. Here we're going to type in our email and password that you set up. Go ahead and do that and hit Submit. Now that we're logging in here, it'll come up. And it'll show us our recommended. Now we set the recommended up on our actual desktop and it remembered it through the iPhone, which is nice. So we can just tap and I'm sure we'll get connected. We're gonna have to first allow the VPN configuration to set up. So we're gonna go ahead and choose allow here. You're gonna need to put your passcode in to confirm this. And now we are connected to the VPN. It also says, how is the connection quality? It's looking good, we'll give it a thumbs up. We can go and click here and see all the information. A lot of this is everything we've already covered. You can go and choose set up other devices. This is where you would download the other apps if you'd like. Now you just swipe up and let that run and you are connected with a VPN and it's secure. If you wanna go ahead and stop the VPN connection, obviously just go back to it and click on it and it'll disconnect it and now you are not secure. I personally like to use VPN connection anywhere I go just to stay secure, but it is up to you. I'll go through the menus just to show you everything. Locations, it's gonna give you all the servers. Now remember, they have over 6,500 servers. So this is not a small VPN. They have over 3 million users. So this is huge. Notifications, again, if they have anything to send us. Settings. Reconnect on disconnect. We have personal server selection, speed tests, clear preferences, the version, and then you can go into advanced as well. Connection protocol, it's automatic. If you wanted to do it your own, you could go ahead and hit that. We're not going to do that at this time, but that is an option. And you can go to the appearance as well, and you could turn it into dark mode if you wanted. It does look a little better that way, I think. And you can refer a friend and set up the devices and then account details, which will give you all my information, which I don't want to give you, no offense. <laughs> We're friends, but I mean, you know. <laughs> so that is as easy as it is to connect with the VPN and you're secure. You can see the VPN at the top right appears and then it disappears. I'll show it to you one more time. Watch over where the battery is and we'll go ahead and choose connect. And once it goes ahead and takes VPN ownership, you'll see VPN. It knows it's safe and secure and you are good to go. I really hope this helped. I have been using Pure VPN for a long time. It's very fluent, never had any problems connecting and I recommend it. Hence why I have reviews written about it on helpfultutorials.net and I'm supporting it. So again, if you're interested, check the link down below. It'll give you the best discount available. Thank you so much for the view.